Good morning, this is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. Um, today, this for Friday, let's take a look at the lesson that's assigned for morning prayer because we're starting a new book of the Bible. Um, we have now heard, we went, worked our way through Genesis the last couple of weeks, uh, and we heard mostly recently about the story of the death of Jacob, Jacob also known as Israel. Uh, he's buried back in the land. And then Joseph, uh, we eventually hear about the death of Joseph. Now we've begun this new book called the book Exodus, uh, and we will hear what is built up of what God does, uh, mostly primarily with the ministry of Moses. Uh, so we got to do the prelude, uh, the, the prelude for this. Uh, we got to build up uh, ex exactly how we get to the point of Moses coming into the story. Uh, so Exodus uh, chapter one, beginning at verse eight. Now there rose up a new king in Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply. And it come to pass that when there falleth out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us and so get them up of the land. Therefore did they set them over taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with vigor. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field, in the, all their service wherein they made them serve was with vigor. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born ye shall cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive. Okay, so as we said, the story of, of Joseph has ended, and this new king, uh, time goes by, the new king doesn't know him. The people of Israel who've been saved from famine by Joseph and, and the Egyptians welcomed them in uh, because of their affinity for Joseph, who well, God worked through Joseph in a dream, uh, in interpreting the dreams of Pharaoh to prepare them for the famine so the people of, of Egypt were saved as well as the people of, of Israel uh, because of Joseph's good work. Time goes on, the people of Israel continue to grow, they prosper, they're blessed by God, and this becomes a threat to the Egyptians. They're fearful that these, these, these Jewish people, descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that they will side with Egypt's enemies and overtake them. Uh, and so ultimately they make them slaves, right? They, they lose their freedom, they're forced to work. Uh, and on top of that, um, they have this, at the end of this, we hear the story that um, the, the Pharaoh has charged and made the law that all Jewish males are to be put to death. They are to be cast into the river. Um, but the nice guy, he does spare the women, uh, the, the, the girl babies. Uh, but this is, of course, is an attempt to stop the propagation of the people of Israel. Now, I hope you're starting to think to yourself, this sounds sort of familiar, uh, because what we're doing is we are building up towards the story of Moses, right? Because we know that Moses, and you can go ahead and read in the story, they'll read ahead if you want. Uh, but of course, we know that when Moses was put in the basket, he was in, in the water, rather than just being cast in there, uh, he in fact is rescued by Pharaoh's daughter. And so, whereas Joseph is brought into Pharaoh's household uh, in order to become the one who interpret the dreams and then becomes the great political leader, Moses is actually raised in the household of, of, of Pharaoh uh, as a member of the family, as it would be Pharaoh's grandson, um, because the daughter adopts him. So anyway, they, but we're building into that story. You, you're allowed to read ahead. Uh, so today is Friday, and it's a Friday in Lent. So we do have worship today. Uh, we have 1115 Holy Communion, and at noon, Stations of the Cross. I hope you can join us for one or the other, or come for both. Um, and uh, or you can at least watch the Mass on this live stream. And may your Friday be a day that's full of blessings.